Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Womblies, and we're going to start here today just so you can see the table as it stands. We've played 28 games this season, 10 games left, and we are currently, as you can see, we are in like a third, but unfortunately we're a full 13 points behind the inexplicably successful Tottenham Hotspurs. Uh, so I don't know if we're going to be able to come back. Uh, we lost the Community Shield. The FA Cup, uh, we're still in that competition. In fact, we're in the uh, semifinals facing Arsenal. Uh, so that's a big game for us. The Capital One Cupity Cup Cup. Tottenham won that. Uh, the Copa Europa. We didn't get to... Pre well, we tied. Oh, and then we lost on penalties. Or we won on penalties. We lost on penalties. Sorry, I don't think I recorded that game. Uh, then we've got the Champions League. The champions. We're playing uh, Manchester United, as you can see. We we in the quarterfinals in Manchester United. We went. We we won one. It was a tie game. Uh, so and they got an away goal. So we're gonna have to try to win that, and then win the semis, and then win the finals. That I think is the overarching update. Um, also, I'm trying to qualify for the World Cup, but that's that's just for fun. That's just for me. Okay, eight games left. Sorry, I'm gonna talk today about. Um, how to deal with a hangover, because that's what I'm doing. Uh, you can hear it a little bit in my voice, I think. Um, but I'm bringing assistant coach Meredith in here. Uh, it's also one of her areas of expertise. So, um, we're playing West Ham United, the Hammers. Are you mad at me, Meredith? She's a little mad at me. Um, and, uh, we're, uh, we're playing West Ham. This is our 10th to last game. Here's how it's gonna go, guys, in my opinion. Tottenham is probably going to win the league. However, if they somehow slip up, I want to be there waiting for them. Um, and, and I think, so we're, we're, we're going to play them. So we're 13 points behind, but we're going to play them. Let's assume that we win that game. Then we're 10 points behind. So really, we're only 10 points behind. Uh, now, that's a massive, obviously, a massive, massive amount. Um, and we're going to have a really hard time, you know, scoring those 10 points. But... Let's see if Tottenham happens to lose some games. You never know. They, they could lose two and draw two, and suddenly we're right back in it. In the meanwhile, we've got to beat West Ham United today, or we have absolutely no chance to win the Premier League. So um, here we go. we got John Green. He's old, Meredith. He's old. But we've also got the key, the key to unlock our hearts. Um, yeah, but he is a, he's an elderly gentleman, John Green. He just watching him run, it's a little bit like watching me run. Um, my son is playing soccer now, and so sometimes I go out and practice with him, and the kid, he can just, he can literally run past me, although I'm probably three feet taller. So uh, we're going to see how it goes today. Um, just be grateful that I'm not out on the pitch, guys, because I am pretty terrible at soccer. Uh, my five-year-old, on the other hand, not half bad. I think the kid's got a future. Uh, I just want him to play for Wimbledon when he grows up. Uh, you know, I don't have big, I don't have, I don't have big goals. I just want him to be one of the players that sends AFC Wimbledon back where it belongs, to the Premier League. Um, how do you get rid of a hangover? Meredith, what do you think? Meredith's advice is my advice as well. I don't know if you guys heard that, but her advice was pretty solid, and it was don't drink in the first place. The number one way to deal with a hangover is not to get a hangover. If you got a hangover, you did something wrong. Um, which is that you, you over-imbibed alcohol. You didn't go out and have one or two drinks. By the way, don't drink unless you're a grown-up. Uh, for no other reason than it seems to interfere a little bit with your brain, uh, your brain, um, growth. And brains are so important. The older I get, the more I realize that, like, I'm pretty screwed without my brain. Oh, John Green! Oh, he's big! That's the wrong song. Bob John Green, John Green. He gives it all for the team upon his mustache. We're keen. God, that's my voice. Bald John Green, John Green. He's a finisher. So here's how I got the hangover. I spent like, uh, you're watching this in, in a glorious future that I don't know about yet. I, I, it, in my world, it is uh, Wednesday. What would you say today's date is, Meredith? The 9th of September. Holy boy. Yeah, I got to get a tattoo tomorrow. Slightly off topic. Um, yeah, well, it's an Inquist tattoo, but still, it's, you know. Did you not know about that? Do you have any ideas for what my tattoo should be? <gasps> oh. 
Almost. My dreams almost came true. Um, anyway, I got to get a tattoo tomorrow. It's an Inquist tattoo, but it's, it's still a tattoo. Um, and uh, I spent like 18 hours making a video uh, yesterday um, about the uh, refugee crisis. And um, for the last 40 days, I haven't had anything to drink at all because I've been, uh, I've been doing this diet thing, uh, which has been great, by the way. But it turns out that, like, not drinking for 40 days has changed my relationship with alcohol pretty significantly. So I can't, like, have a glass of wine at dinner without feeling pretty intoxicated. And I certainly can't have the amount of wine, oh, wine that I had last night without feeling extremely intoxicated. Which is why my voice, one of the things that when I get a hangover, my voice is always a little scratchy. Have you ever experienced that, Meredith? Meredith's experienced that as well. Um, because I think it's because I just have some, some GERD. I think it's just, it's just so bad. And then you eat poorly because you're just making overall bad decisions once you're, uh, you know, once you've had a few glasses of wine. Like, you just start to make other poor decisions. In my case, just, uh, I can, I, I'm starting to be able to reintroduce foods. I've been on this annoying, uh, elimination diet to try to figure out. I have esophagitis to try to figure out what's causing my esophagitis. Probably. Uh, I don't, I'll tell you what, I don't think wine helps. Oh, yeah, I just got tackled from behind! That's a red card! Oh, all right, well. Should DeFilippo shoot from 32 yards, Baron? He should. I agree. I'm a big fan of DeFilippo, and I think he can do it! Oh, man, that was in slow motion. Um, no, oh, DeFilippo, let's see a replay. Oh boy, just didn't get the curl on it or any other part of the uh, kick that would be necessary to score a goal. Okay. Um, yeah, and then you also have a headache because you're dehydrated. I mean, the number one way to deal with a hangover is not to get drunk. And the number two way is to, uh, you know, drink lots of water and, um, and make sure that you're uh, taking care of yourself throughout, uh, throughout the night and, and that you get a lot of sleep and stuff. But realistically... I'm, and all this stuff about, like, eating greasy food and raw eggs, it's all a lie. People, I, I think people just don't like, I've always sort of liked hangovers because I feel like I should suffer if I do something, if I'm naughty. Um, do you know what I mean? Does that seem crazy? Does that seem very Protestant? Um, well, I am Protestant, so what can I do? Um, but, uh, yeah, so I've, I've never really minded them that much, but uh, I'll tell you what, I mind this one just because I'm, I'm so old now. I'm not used to this kind of thing when I'm old. The last time I had a hangover was when I went to the Time 100 party. Not to brag, but Time Magazine named me one of the most 100 most influential people on Earth. Um, <laughs> because, you know, I'm a semi-professional FIFA player. I'm not sure exactly what my qualifications were for being one of the mo most 100 influential people on Earth. Meredith, do you think I'm one of the uh, 100 most influential people on Earth? You're lying. She said yes, but she's... Uh, who, who cuts your checks again? Um, you don't really, do you? No, she doesn't actually. You do? I'm in the 100 people you can name who are the most influential. But like, is... How many Kardashians are in the 100 people you can name who are the most influential? 10. <laughs> you cannot really name 10 Kardashians. No, you can't. All right, name me 10 Kardashians. Go. Really? Yes. Kim. Kim. Courtney. Courtney. Chloe. Chloe. Rob. Rob. Chris Jenner. Chris Jenner. Robert Kardashian Sr. Robert Kardashian Sr. Was he the OJ lawyer who, who's deceased? All right. Not going to go to Jenner's? Yeah, you can go to Jenner's. I mean, are they all, I mean, they're, they're siblings, right? They're just, like, they lit. well, they would live, they lived together when they were younger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you can go to Jenner's, of course. Huh? Yeah, you're only at six. You said you could name ten. Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. I've never met her. Kendall. I've met her. <laughs> I've met Kendall. Um, that's eight. Kylie? Kylie's nine. Who's Kylie? Is she... I've never even heard... I'm, uh, now I feel bad because I know the Jenners are huge fans of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies. Why? We're supposed to be talking about hangovers. What's your tenth Kardashian? Brody Jenner. Brody Jenner. Who the F is Brody Jenner? That's not a real person. I can't believe you were able... Is Brody Jenner their sibling? Kanye <laughs> West is not a Kardashian, but Northwest is totally a Kardashian, and I'm stunned that you didn't choose North or Kim's... Get up! 
Oh, uh, you know what I said to Henry the other day when we were practicing? Did I tell you this, Meredith? Did I say this on the Wimbly Womblies? I think I did. All right. It's horrible. It's just really stuck with me because I'm just a terrible... I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sports dad. All the things I never wanted to be in my life. That's not a bad pass. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, you've got to get it out of your foot, buddy. Oh, Correa, Correa. Oh, Meredith, I apologize in advance for what's about to happen. I forgot the words. Dang it. What are the words? Uh, something, something. Uh, people criticizing my pronunciation of footballista, man. Wow, I got a lot of crap about how I say footballista. Um, footballista. Correa, Correa! That's all I remember. Uh, God, I love that sh song about Shakira. It's like both a song about Shakira and a song by Shakira, which I guess like lots of pop music is these days. Like a lot of Justin Bieber songs are also on the topic of Justin Bieber. But there's something hilarious about making the, uh making the, 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 like, the actual midpoint of your song. Oh! It's hot. It's cold. It's Kelvin. I don't really have a song for him yet, Meredith. Even though he scored eight goals in all competitions. This is just a beautiful display from the Wimbly Womblies. This is what we need to see from the last ten games. By the way, if we score, like, 37 goals, we might be able to pass uh, Tottenham Hotspur on goal difference. Um... I don't know. How, how close are we to 37? We're still 34 short, so that's unfortunate. Um, yeah. Brody Jenner is, is, is a sibling of Kylie? Oh, no! Meredith Panic! Oh, great job by the boys, huh? Half sibling. Okay, well, which half, though? Is he Kim, Chris Jenner's child? Oh, but he's Bruce Jenner's child. Caitlin. He's Kate, sorry, Caitlyn Jenner's child from a previous relationship. Oh, is he on the television show? Okay, so he's, he's a Jenner Kardashian. Uh, what do you think Northwest's uh, brother or sister is going to be named? Brother or sister? What do you think? What do you think the name's going to be? I think, it's, I think they're going to stick with Cardinal Directions. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I always say. I love Southwest. That's my favorite direction. Come on, boys. That's a terrible pass. I'm trying to score a fourth goal here. How do you get over a hangover? Just talk about the Kardashians with Meredith. That's, that's what did it for me. Um, huh? Watching a, Watching a marathon? Like an actual marathon where somebody runs 26.2 miles? That sounds like a terrible way to get over a hangover. It would be hot and I'd feel bad about myself. Oh, put on E. Oh, like an E marathon. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good idea. I'd watch Deadliest Catch. That's my marathon show. That's my go. What's your go-to marathon show? Is it Bachelors in Paradise? I think it's Kardashians. It's Kardashians. Yeah. I like Key and Peele. I like Key and Peele too. You know what I've been watching that I find extremely funny? Broad City. Have you seen this show? It's very funny. It's like, frankly, I think it's like funnier and better than Girls. It's like a, to me at least, it's a more accurate. Uh, view of my own 20s uh, than girls. Uh, girls has always felt to me very New York specific. Whereas when I watch Broad City, it, I know they're in a city and everything, and they're in New York, they're in Brooklyn, but like when I watch Broad City, I often think, like, this reminds me of the halcyon days of my youth in Chicago. Um, uh, yeah, which were largely spent hungover. So, so it's all come full circle. Uh, boy, I mean, back when I was single and had no children, pretty much every Saturday I would go to this, uh, this place, the Lincoln Lodge, since closed, unfortunately. I don't even want to talk about it. It's one of the great heartbreaks of my life. But, um, I'd go to this place, the Lincoln, uh, and, and they served just a wonderful breakfast. And this was back in the days when I believed that eating a lot of bacon and, uh, and a large omelet would, uh, somehow cure a hangover. And, oh my god, it was fun. It was a good time. It's just... You know, there is something, I, I, I disliked almost every part of that age in my life, but I can still be nostalgic for it. Um, speaking of nostalgia, that was a Wimbly Wombly's performance that reminded me of the good old days. Did you know Mr. Spock's on our team? Um, see that guy? See his haircut? Was that Key? I, that's a extremely racist portrayal of, of Asians. It's like they can't 
It's like they can't even do basic facial mapping. Um, anyway, they also can't do handshakes. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Best wishes.